<laughs> oh man, I'm building up the courage to speak. Oh man, good day. And welcome to Gilly T. <laughs> As I exit the shanty town where I'm staying, oh, man. I'm having to avoid the smoke littered everywhere. Oh, so, without having a grumble, grumble, without having a moan, I'm going to take you guys for a tour <laughs> around the island. I am. Oh, <laughs> the back street. I live up the back there. Uh, oh man, and I have to stay that way to get a cheap enough room. It's not cheap here to stay, by the way. It's rather, it's, it's, it's a little bit expensive, if, if the truth be told. Oh man. But, <laughs> all right, everybody. Uh, Good morning. Morning. What are you up to? Oh, guys, yeah. oh just cleaning. Daddy. Oh, sharpening his knives. Oh, you're gonna go and um, hey, I'll see you yesterday. Yeah. I filmed you. You, you. You're the horseshoe man. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. You're sharpening your tools to go and replace the horseshoes for the horses. Yeah. Good hat, right? Yeah. If you want to get ahead, you want to swap hats. No, no, no. It's okay. <laughs> I like this hat. Cheers, guys. That's really cool. That I bumped into you. Good, good. Have a good day. Oh man, that's cool. But um, yesterday, I walked around the whole island. My BFC, my drone, everything, uh, just uh, to take loads of little clips, putting the film together, as one does. And I, I filmed those guys twice on the front, doing the um, doing the hoofs, replacing. The, um, what do you call them? The shoes on the horse. So it was quite cool. Just saw them there right now, where they live, getting ready to go and do their, their work right on the shore. So today, oh man, I've, I've got flu by the way. I've got man flu, yes. Yes, I have. Uh, but today, I feel a lot better. Yesterday I couldn't vlog because I was sniffly. Um, I went through two toilet rolls yesterday, blowing me nose. In this weather, how have I caught man flu? Well, I'll tell you. Um, when I went to the doctors, I think three days ago, um, he told me he he actually had flu, and he told me there's quite a bit of it going about. So he's put me on three different tablets. I'm now on day three, and I feel the need, the will. <laughs> oh, he says I've got the energy to go out and vlog today, so I can take you on a tour around the island. Good morning. Good day. And there they go. After work. All that tools. He'll turn turn right. Yes. To where the um where the boat comes in. Which is along there. Which if I get my ass in gear. Oh man. Been a delivery this morning of hay for the horses. <laughs> now if I get my butt in the gear, I might be able to walk around the whole island again and get back before there's a big boat come in. Uh, so here we are, so this is uh, the main part of the beach, <laughs> what's she up to, <laughs> wherever you go, there's always someone up to something, oh, it's been hot, this day three have been really hot, it's weird having the cold in this kind of heat, and the tide is in, here you go, look, there's a dive boat, no it's not a dive boat, that's a local boat now coming in, local people will be coming across from Lombok, to come and do their business here. So this young lady is having her daily routine of yoga, one would imagine. <laughs> yes. Right, oh man, the sun, it's already on my eyes. Which, oh man, they got me already, my eyes. Watering like mad, which I do not want. No. <laughs> No, but you know, that's what you get. Oh, watery eyes, congested nose, tickly throat. 
That's what you get when you get man flu. Whew. And in this hot weather, don't have to take your energy. Zaps your energy, man. I wear my super fly glasses. I hate, I don't like wearing sunglasses at all. <laughs> they obscure one's vision. So, but I need them, man, otherwise I ain't got to be able to see. Let's just see the boat come in then. This is the sort of thing I was filming yesterday, every morning. Right up to the start, the early morning action of the dive boats going out. These people, carriers coming in. Good day. You know what I mean? Good morning. So these people are local people. Where, where do you come from, Lombok? Lombok. From Lombok? Yeah. Okay, thank you. Wicked, and you come here to, to work for the day? You, you come here to, people come here to work? Yeah. They do. Okay. Have a good day, guys. Yeah, you too. Okay, man. Cheers, buddy. Yeah. Oh, and they bring the, the stores and everything. They all arrive on these boats every day from Lombok. Oh, man. Right. Beautiful day. Whee! Then we tripped over a lump of rope. Right, I've got to walk around the island and I want to show you every beach. Every beach, because each beach and each place has got its own thing going on. And as I'm up early of the morning, as the day is dawning, I managed to capture that yesterday. So I'll show you a few places which other people probably wouldn't show because they wouldn't know. Oh man, what a beautiful, beautiful start to the day. So all along this beach, there are a few dive schools, just like in Kotel where these guys are now, they've got all the tanks ready and they'll be shipping out pretty soon in the next hour, we're all having breakfast and they'll be shipping out and I'm going to show you where they go to see the whale sharks which I spotted yesterday, I didn't spot the whale sharks yesterday I spotted the dive boats oh man and these are the guys right here who will sell you the ultimate snorkeling tour <laughs> they're really chatty Usually they try to sell you everything until you put a camera on. They're like massage girls, those guys. They are. They are. It's like, <laughs> put a camera on, people leave you alone. They do. So I recommend if you're on holiday, get a camera or some headphones and, and you might get left alone. They usually try to sell you everything. Moving along. Okay, here, just start. This is just coming up to Turtle Beach. And the reason they call it Turtle Beach. <laughs> It's because it's where you can rent some snorkeling gear, come out and see a few turtles. That'll be hanging around. There's a guy snorkeling just out here. There's a boat now coming in here. And I think that's one of the little snorkeling boats and they will be looking for a turtle. There's another boat there. Um, so all along where you see these little but ah, and there is your little viewpoint, turtle viewpoint. Oh, give you some idea stingray divers are based just there there's little dive schools all along this part of the beach so you can see it's a little bit it's loads of coral washed up by the way in between little bits of plastic and sticks but these guys will be out trawling looking for turtle spotting and you can guys don't mind i'm sure they don't I, sun's pointing right at me so i better not but they are right here they're looking for a turtle in that boat as i am the turtles are really easy to spot oh good day oh man oh man <laughs> oh it's really good really good hang on let's get organized these are the guys who are, who are on my uh van yeah. So, yeah and, uh, well, that's it. And uh, they recognised me as Triple H, <laughs> which was really cool. Oh, so we, well, you guys been out snorkeling? Yeah, yeah. actually we saw turtles there. Right here. Yeah. Are oh, they there right now? Yeah, oh, I'm that's there. really good. Are mm. you you hanging about this area today, or? Yeah, actually one week we are staying here. We're just staying here for a week. Yeah. Cool. I'll come and find you for a drink. Yeah. But later. Ah, oh, really cool. And I forgot your names. Prabhu. Rabu? Yeah, Prabhu. Gokul. And Gokul? Yeah. Cool, from India? Yeah. Wicked, man. Yeah. Cool. Oh, that's a really good start to my vlog. <laughs> um, I've, I've got, a, I'm walking around the whole island. Yeah, sure. Taking in all the beaches. So, yeah. time I come yeah, back. I mean, where it is, so, okay, I will ping you on Facebook. Yeah, well, ping me. I'll come here and meet you for a drink or something. Yeah. Wicked, guys. Oh, it's cool catching up. 
Wicked. Yeah. Have a good day, man. All the best. Oh, how cool. How cool. <laughs> That's so good. And like I said, they've just seen a couple of turtles out here this morning. The place to be. And they've got the beach. They're, they're staying there for, the, for a week, which isn't a bad place, man. I enjoyed talking with them guys because I learned lots of lots of things. They were the guys who were telling me uh, about the cobras and the king cobras. How, how to <laughs> well, how, how to get on with them rather than spook them. So this is all along here. It's known as Turtle Beach, and there is just loads of coral that gets washed up every day, along with the twigs and chill out area. Now also. <laughs> Where Turtle Beach area is, there is also an abundance of these signs that you will see. You good eye? How are you guys? Okay? Cool, man. <laughs> Which is quite novel. So you can rent your snorkeling gear from some of these places, <laughs> and you can also get a bit baked, shaky baky, with a Mushroom shaky. <laughs> you can, and they are here. Look. Du -du -du, du -du -du. Du -du -du oh man. So you can, you can learn to fly on this beach. Well, I better turn this off because of the music. Rocky, Rocky in the house. Oh, the music's gone. Wicked. Okay. <laughs> okay. Cool. He switched the music off. And there is, look, wherever you come, there's some really cool signs, look. I'll be back for shrooms. Schwarzenegger, he's been here. We've all been here. And I have photographed all these signs along the beach yesterday, which will be on my Facebook page. Vlog and the dead horse. So you can have a look <laughs> at all the signs. They are really cool, man. They're really cool. So you, hey! <laughs> you can get shaped and baked. Oh man, really cool, wicked. So that is Turtle Spot and Beach here, along with, with uh, the mushroom, the shaky, the shrooms, the shroom gang. I think I'll get away with that. Oh man, and I can feel, I'm tripped over myself then, I can feel that I'm, I can feel my energy coming back, I can. Okay, I'm just, I'm still in the same area, but I spot Mr. Cleaner. He must have his work cut out. I'm impressed by his sunbed area. He's, he's having to do this every day. <laughs> he's cleaning his beach, man. Now, I used to do this when I used to rent sunbeds out. And he's doing a good job. Morning. How are you? I'm good, yeah. I'm good. How many hours have you been at this, mate? Two hours? Two hours. How many more? One more hour to go, or are you nearly finished? Maybe half an hour. Half an hour? Yeah. And then you sleep? Yeah. No, I'm just walking again. Yeah. Oh, you're just straight in there yeah. working again? Yeah. Oh, man. Well, have a good day, buddy. You, Cheers. All the best. Thank you. Oh, man. <laughs> yes. I used to get up every morning and spend two hours doing exactly what that guy used to do on Laguna Beach in Zakynthos. I did. And up until now, that was probably the best job I ever had in my life. <laughs> it was a really good job. <laughs> that, <laughs> that's an electric cable. <laughs> Rigged up amongst the trees, going to perhaps to GB Suites. Now, it's a little bit shanty here, but it is an area you have to walk through to get round to where the upmarket all-inclusive suites are. <sighs> Through here, so <laughs> look out for the snakes. They could be. Uh, maybe not so likely in areas like this because there's lots of foot traffic that would come through here. And the snakes would probably wiggle off into the jungle. So it's a little bit, as you almost expect, a bit skanky <laughs> before you head. End of, the, end of the proper real estate. Oh man, a bit of burning been going on, look. You know how it goes, people? The good, the bad, and the fugly. Oh, there's all sorts been burning. Bottles, plastic, tin, you name it. Oh man, that's probably where 
this all inclusive place here's a bit of restro work these guys are doing a bit of, i see them yesterday sorting through all these wooden planks all this decking that is all proper proper good gear right there all that wood solid flooring that'll make also or a decent bit of shelving <laughs> Oh man, so yes, you always get that's probably the rubbish from this place. <laughs> oh man, it is what it is. I mean, there's still a bit. I think today's gonna be really hot. I look back that way, you can see. Oh man, I don't know if you can you see the who in the mountains that's so just still lifting. Oh man, it's not bad place to be that was a bit of green a little bit of greeny type colored yellowy scum on the surface there we all know what that is by now i'm sure uh, you know and we have rat a tat tat oh that's it see those guys there all that wood they'll be putting the deck in oh, right here i'll oh, make it up as you go along mr king and you're never far wrong never that is, that's the wood. Look, they've planed it. That's all come from where I know to show you. Bit of decking on the bar. So what beach is this? <laughs> Huge platform here, look. Oh man. Don't know what name of this beach is, but they all have different names. Each sector has a different kind of name. A bit whiffy. <laughs> Whoa. And uh, we're heading more that way. Around. Oh man. I don't know whether that's. A, oh, we're sticking out of the water. Maybe a new coral uh, bed being built. Oh man. Uh, I've seen a bit of. Uh, what do you call it? Where they're manipulating the steel. They, they weld these huge steel frames together and then they put them out and that's how the coral can get attached and start living and they go and uh, graft bits of coral on top of it morning darling you good? good having a sweep up look good job <laughs> oh, man. this is where the beach gets a little bit uh, what's the right word? natural all along here as we walk along mmm that's cool <laughs> so I walk through here and have a little swimming pool good day how are you good well, what is the name of this beach it's a turtle point okay thank you guys cheers cheers so all along here, like I said, this is the main turtle point. Wicked. You want to get splashed, you come and stand right there. And I am spotting turtles. We're going to get splashed. Whoa. <laughs> they have built this break out of co concrete and coral. And like I say, it gets a lot more natural here. Turtle Point Beach. Well, if I keep my eyes open, <laughs> I may see the turtle pop their little heads up. As they have to come up for air every five minutes or so, I believe. And you can buy a bit of turt all along here. You can. You can probably buy anything along this section of beach. Good day. Oh, I'm okay for a bit of jewellery, mate. Thank you, but oh man, you've got decent diving gear here. Yes. Yeah, it's all decent and shoes to walk in the sea. I'm here. You're here? Yeah. I know, and, and this guy, Bob Marley. How are you, buddy? You good? Good, good. Oh, he's looking strong. <laughs> uh, you look like me with a suntan. You're like my dark brother. <laughs> Have a good day, man. Cheers. I actually videoed that guy yesterday doing his weight workout on his... On his um, up at the beach. I managed to get some really good clips of what I did yesterday and hopefully I can get some drone footage that I can put in with that today. Hopefully. 
You alright there, little black cat? Wow! He's a black. Oh, there's more cats. There are quite a few cats. And yeah, I filmed them yesterday. Yes, I did. <laughs> it's a superb morning to be out for a walk. I can tell you that. Because yesterday, I could not see the mainland there. But that, I don't know. That certainly does look like a volcano, right? But I haven't got my map with me. So I don't know if there is a volcano on the mainland of Bali or the mainland of Java. Oh man, this dive boat here, we're a cool boat. Boat. Those things, like I say, it gets a little bit upmarket. I'll try not to trip up on his rope. There's another guy coming out with some dive tanks from here, from another dive school. Good day, buddy. Morning. You good? Do you, is this a volcano? Yes. It's a volcano on the mainland? Yeah, yeah. Do, do you know the name? No? Is, is Bali or Java? It's Bali. Yeah. And it's, it's Mount Batu? Really? Is it Mount Batu? Yeah. Yes. Agun. Oh, which one? Agun. Oh, that is Mount Argun. Argun Bali. Argun Bali. Yes. Okay, and you guys are now going out to see the whale sharks? Yes, sir. Whale shark, is that where you're now going? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, over there? That point there. That point? Yeah. Okay, guys, have a good day. Yeah. There you go, guys. That is Bali. Way, and we got over there. <laughs> These guys now bringing all their dive gear out from that big dive school in there. Oh, man. It's wicked, man. That is the way to find stuff out. That is Mount Argon. <laughs> and there is a little tour boat out there. Probably looking for, well there is turtles and all along that line there is a coral reef where you will see some fish. And if I'm feeling, I think I may stay another day because my congestion feel like it's going and I do want to do a full, I mean I've been carrying my flippers right for so long um, and that's why I actually come to the gillies to use them but having a bit of man flu um, it's kind of put pay to it so hopefully I'll be feeling proper tomorrow but that is Bali, Mount Agu awesome here comes the first dive boat now ah yes, we can turn you around we can we can't get a picture of me with Mount Algun in the background and here comes the first dive boat right out here I'm a bit earlier than this morning and I am weird there's a bit of this construction work going on here I don't know if they're building a sewage plant of such or some sort there's definitely something here lots of pipeline all these pipes I don't know they're definitely, oh, I don't know if I want to look. Uh, definitely building something. Here. I see all this pipe here yesterday, look. And all these tubes. <laughs> it's probably why the sea's a bit frothy, man. You know? Right there. Ah, oh, man. Wicked. Having the beach to myself. The our natural beach. Oh, man. It's just I'm just waiting where the dive boat's gonna stop and then I'll see if I'll fly the drone out and see if I can see a whale shark from the sky. Well no whale sharks. No, no, I've flown the drone all around there, ain't none. But there's now one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine nine dive boats all chasing the golden little bit of dream of getting a whale shark <laughs> save yourself an expensive dive trip and get a drone swiftly moving along my battery power is coming to an end this is the start of sunset beach this little place is called aston sunset beach and as you can see Good day. It's a cool place to come and watch the sunset. Oh, man. 
the back. I don't know how long for. This battery's going to die any second. There is now 11 dive boats out there. 11. Okay. I'll see how far <laughs> I can get before I change cameras. Hey, we're still on Sunset Beach. Whilst I'm here, I have to get a proper thumbnail. I'm looking at <laughs> as there are people waiting to come and have their Instagram picture taken. <laughs> cool spot. Cheers. There's a very cool spot along this beach. Very well kept, nice and clean. You can sit on your sunbed, you sit on your chairs. You've got a fantastic view of that volcano I've already forgotten the name of. <laughs> right there. Wicked, wicked spot. So tonight, I think there could be a pretty good sunset because the last two nights hasn't been very good sunset. However, there's been lots of cloud pushing across ah, Bali, right over there, wicked, oh man, it's getting hot, I'm heading towards breakfast I think, wicked view, just looking back at the beach I've just walked all along there and there are bars of an evening where you can sit and watch the sunset. Now here where the water is a lot calmer than it's been the last couple of days, it's really clear and cool. <laughs> and you can hop on one of them anytime you like if you get tired of walking around the beach, which I have actually done a lot quicker than I have done yesterday. So I'm almost back to square one. I am. But wow, look at, look, just look how cool the sea looks just here, look. Really nice. Obviously there used to be a bar here at some point. It's just a wicked view. Sea looks inviting. It does, even though <laughs> all along the intimate shoreline, there's a little bit of surf. And there is an abandonment right there of some sort, which still looks pretty cool nonetheless. And that looks like a little, there's another spot here where there would have been a bar again, look. Oh man, wouldn't it be wicked just building a bar there? man and having a little apartment sat above it possibilities are there because there's a bit of land for sale oh, I like that. kev kev you can't get the free kevs kev me kev you can't yeah oh, kev you're gonna butt me <laughs> hey oh, look kev battery going i don't know if they think i'm gonna give them food i don't know oh they look like they're gonna attack here come the other one. I don't want to get attacked by three donkeys. Hey, we're on. We are, we're on. I've got a backup cam, man. GoPro 8. Both batteries on the GoPro 10 say no. And as the front screen is broken on the front, then the GoPro 8 is just as good. I wonder if you can see the difference in the picture. Now, here they come. It's like a pikey race, isn't it? Are they having a race? Go on, son. Oh, are they trying to get to the same fear? They are. <laughs> Here come this one, he's a bit slow. Oh, he's running up in third place. How are you? Oh, I'm good, my friend. Have a good day. <laughs> Wicked looking bar again, look. And we still are on Sunset Beach. He's left his gear out. Oh no, they're empty. Ah, oh, could have done with a live now. Could have done. Wicked little spot. Very photogenic. Ah oh, man, cool. And this beach here, it's all been clipped clean. Loads of coral. Ah oh, man, I mean literally loads of coral. Sea defence has been put in. And again, what a wicked spot. And there is just that little bit of surf, uh, as always. But, oh man, once you pass the first two metres, crystal clear. And you need to get past that break. And then you'll probably find some half decent corals there. The, the break is actually breaking over the corals. And the dark area you can see in the sea is probably a dead coral. Yeah, we're up. Right there. 
this still is Sunset Beach and like I say you can look across to Bali over there to Mount Agu ah is it Mount Agu and you can swing round and look over there at Lombok and the weather is looking a lot clearer today than it has been for the last two or three days so you might we might get a proper sunset tonight we might I did actually make a vlog <laughs> last night I did a good eye how are you guys all right it's all good beautiful where are you guys from Argentina oh Argentina okay it's the last of the cool. war it's the, the final in the war Oh, in the World Cup? Yeah, yeah no. Messi. Oh, you were wearing a Messi t-shirt yesterday? Yes, sir. Yeah. And do you know what? I thought, is that Lionel? Yes. You, you've got a Lionel type hairstyle. Yeah, I yes. know you on the other side. You see me on the other side yeah, yesterday? Yeah, you go. Yes. Where are you from? England. Oh! oh. England. Oh. No, we're not so good at football. No. We don't have a Lionel Messi, unfortunately. Yeah, okay, okay. No, we don't. And we <laughs> haven't a... got a Wayne Rooney anymore, either. Uh, do you like it this? It's okay. It, every morning, the coast is nice and clear. Yeah. It's a it's a bit hotter and the weather is clearer yeah. today. Yeah. So yeah, it's it's good to walk around every morning. Yeah. Um, I go. We go to the all the place with the running to the normal route. No, yes. no different route. Yeah, because yeah. Because we this is in Caminando walk, but the very place. For me, for we is in downtown. You like in the, the downtown? center? In the center. Mm -hmm. Nice, no, okay. Because now it's Ramadan here. I yeah, know. It's not too much people. Yes. Not too much uh, music, nothing. Uh, well, I don't know. I get, now I, is good. I don't know where the other time. Okay. Yeah. I get a lot of Ramadan not, music. Now it's good. It is. Not. Thank cool. you so much. Thank and you guys have a yeah, lovely day. Thank you. All the best. Cheers. Oh man, cool. I did. I, I saw those guys yesterday on the other side of the island. I say it's, it's, I would recommend every morning get up early and not that early I mean the like I, the, the guys say it is Ramadan that was quite funny because I made a vlog last night and it was, it's me I was a little, I was bugged I was annoyed for uh, a few things I got served food that weren't very good loads of flies around the bar and also <laughs> there were a load of Muslim people eating and making loads of noise and their kids were screaming and I was like, well, I thought it was Ramadan. Fast for 11, 12 days till the first day of Eid or Eve. So I was a bit put out and that put me in a nippy mood. And I made a bit of a nippy vlog, but I, I may put it on. I may just put it on the Patreon's account, stuff like that. But also the other thing that annoys me, when you look, come off this main street, and you see the smoke through there. Um, it's not good, mate, because it's plastic still little bits of it I try oh man I just get horrible oh, don't want the smell of plastic it's horrible it really is right we're caught up with Kev and his Kev and Kev we've got the three Kevs <laughs> the donkeys look three donkeys having a nibble on the grass they're just wandering about look man probably end up on a barbecue at some point later today or tomorrow ah here was a cool bar this is the pink bar is it called the pink bar it's all a bit pink you all right darling good morning good morning oh you've got your fruit salads ready for when people get up are you gonna give me a fruit salad for free no oh <laughs> okay well what i liked about here is adults only no kids which is really good if you're on holiday then you need to get away can i go in for one minute yes i'll be one minute okay i thought she was going to say no no i've gone in nippy mode again like, well, well, why not oh man maybe not maybe she was warning me uh, good day let's just have a little look inside the pink location adults only so i'm a bit worried it's not a nudist place, is it? No, it's not like a fun and games place, no. And there ain't no kids, except for me. Ah, <laughs> oh, man, ain't a bad place to stay, is it? Cool, relax, wicked pool. Wicked. And no kids except for me. Wicked, and you're right on the beach. <laughs> Bit too pink for me. I'd have painted it peach 
and called it the peachy bar. We come and get proper peachy. Good day. Young lady, how much is a room for one night? 1.4. What? 1.4 million? Okay, thank you. 1.4 million, that's about 60 quid, I think, roughly. Well out of my league, and I say I'm paying 225, and that's the most I've paid for a room yet. But out here of an evening, they do have a live DJ in the pink DJ booth. And if, well, I'll see how things go. I may, may not be out making another evening vlog tonight. Uh, but that, that is, like I say, it's all right if there's two of you and you're on holiday. But for me as a backpacker, keeping things cheap, I don't earn 60 quid a day, let alone, <laughs> let alone 100 quid a day that I would need before uh, I'd stay in a place like that. Oh man, oh, moving along swiftly as we still are on Sunset Beach. Hey, we're on. <laughs> this camera's got its faults. Don't make any noise, so I don't know if we're on until I have a little check. But we are now at the point ah, where I did want to get back to the main harbour before the boat come in but I've just seen it scooting along so I'm a little bit late but this is where you can come surfing known as Surfers Beach right here welcome to Boncas Surf Point where you can surf <laughs> oh man geese has got his drone up look right on cue wicked not a bad spot at all. Ah, young ladies flying the drone. Excuse me. Ah, and we have our resident photographer. <laughs> and our daily full moon. Right there. Oh man. Oh man. These guys are gonna go toe to toe. Oh man, are you any good? How are you? Let's good, go. and you? How are you? Let's see your shape, man. Let's, let's see your shape. No, nah, no, nah, get them elbows in. Elbows in. Yeah, it's all right. You could do with a boxing lesson, yeah. you could. I want to get trained. You are, I'll train you, mate. Yeah. I'll give you a boxing lesson for free. Yeah. Yeah? Stand there with your feet together. Stand there like this. Yeah. Go all loose. I want to see what your natural balance is. Just, just go loose. No, all no, loose. Re relax, relax. Relax, all loose, okay? That's it. Do it come once more. Just go all loose. Little push. Ah, you see? I'm trying to find your natural balance. Yeah. Whatever foot goes back first yeah. is your balance. Okay. Whether you're orthodox okay. or southpaw. Oh, oh. So just go all loose. Oh, and I'm just going to push you. Okay, so you're an orthodox boxer. Right, so get your leg, see my back leg? Yeah. Like that. Oh. Like that, are you with me? Yeah. Front oh, foot, lift up like this. <laughs> so you can turn. Hand like this. In. Like this. No air. Not there. Like this. Bring in. Like this, and keep your hand open. Oh, like this. Like that. That, yeah. In. 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 Go loose, man. Look, you all tight up. Go loose. You can't throw a punch. Go loose. So you oh, go okay. like that. Get, stay loose, man. There you go. That's your first boxing lesson. Uh, no, 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 no. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a retired boxing instructor, oh, yes. Okay, okay. Have a good day, guys. I may see you again. I give you lesson number two. <laughs> there you go. Yes, fully qualified to an advanced level by the British Boxing Board of Control, no less. Six years. You need to hold your beginners for two years before you can go on to your seniors you need that for two years before you can apply for the advance so it takes six years in total to become an advanced boxing instructor you need the beginners instructor license to be a second in the corner that's the guy who hands up the water and stuff you need your seniors to actually be the corner man and give instruction to your boxer and you need the advanced because that is all about diet and training to get the most out of your man. Hey, snorkeling, snorkeling. Ah, uh, maybe later, man. Yeah, yeah, we have, okay. You have boat. 
You have both. How much do you charge for public? Oh, public 150. 150? Yeah. Do I get to see the Vespers? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. What time do you go? Like nine. Oh, what time now? What's the time now? It's gone nine, mate. It's about half nine. Oh, ten. You can go like one o'clock. One o'clock? Yeah. Ah, oh, will you charge me 150? 150, yeah. One o'clock? Yeah. And I get to see the Vespers? Yeah. And the ring of the circle? Yeah. Okay. Uh, i show you the, my map. Okay. That's quite good because... Oh, you want to go with the private? Now nah, private's 500, that's too much. Too I haven't work. got that budget. I'll go all day at one o'clock. Yes. <laughs> now you have to confirm. Uh, you can uh, go here. Statue there. Purple and a fish coral also. And a coral, but not the Vespers. Uh, no. If different. I want Vespa, I go Vespa. private. Vespa up there in front there. Where? It just out here? Yeah. The Vespers? Yeah. Where the boats are? You can go swim up there. Okay. Okay, I may come and see you. You leave at nine in the morning? Yeah. But I'd like to go early morning, it's better. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm, I'll come back, dude. I'm back this way later. Okay, okay. okay cool. Ah, yes. That's pretty good price. <laughs> um, most people who do the vlogs here, they go on the, the public boat for 150, four hour trip. Private boat is two hours, takes 500. I've been doing a lot of research while I'm here, so I know. I am the man that knows. I am, some of them are 200 for public. But there's two Vespers, rusted up Vespers, that have been nailed to, uh, to the floor. And that's really cool, the guy just told me where they are where these boats are. Oh man, what's that noise? Sounds like helicopter. It is helicopter. Right there. Oh man, that person flying their drone is going to get right freaked out. <laughs> How are you, buddy? I'm good, I'm good, buddy. Cool. So we're still on Sunset Beach, right? Yeah, yeah. It is, okay. And right out there, the guy. Is, is that where the Vespa is? The Vespas? Two Vespa out there. Yeah. Oh man. That many? Yeah. Oh man, why don't you sell them? They're, they're not worth anything out there. My country worth a lot of money. <laughs> Have a good day, guys. Wicked. So there's a lot of Vespers out there <laughs> where those boats are. And to give you some idea where we are, wow, what a wonderful, it is, today is a completely different day on the beach to what it has been the last two. Beautiful color. In the sea, the clouds all gone from Lombok. Oh man, so here's where we are. You see they've been getting all the coral swept up. You probably hear I'm a little bit out of puff. I'm still a little bit bunged up, you know. But I guess if I go snorkeling there today, it'll probably clear my sinuses. <laughs> oh man, maybe. So here's where I am, where the hotel villa on back is. Ah, oh, wicked. So I may go out with them boats, they say lots of Vespers. I've only seen a picture of where there's two. Oh man. So I may go snorkeling yet today. He runs at one o'clock for that boat. Maybe worth coming back up. So I'm not far off now from the main quay. And I was under the impression there was another named beach between here and there. Like I say, if I'm giving you a full tour of the beach, I'll give you a full tour. But you do get this, look, a good, bad and the ugly. They, they put the plastic in with that and have a little burn up. And it ain't good, because it'll destroy their lungs, their children's lungs, and it certainly upset my lungs. It does. <sighs> okay, we're on. We are on. Quick turn around just to check. As you can see, oh, it, is, it is a wicked day here today. All right there, buddy? Yes, sir. Cool, as we're now, as you can probably guess, almost back to the main part, center of town, where you will find Tut. Yeah. Good day. Good day. Tut, <laughs> tut sellers. Hey, you will. And people selling your boat trips for snorkeling, glass bottom boats and people still sniffling a bit because they see the white man they do <laughs> and here is where the night market is 
<sighs> which I suggest you leave well alone. <laughs> I did vlog about that last night, the stank of fish. And if you know fresh fish, you'll know that it does not smell. So here we are at center point. Like I said, I've just missed the boat arriving. As these people are now going out. Aha, uh -huh, it's the horse people are here. <laughs> uh -huh. So we are, I forget the name of this beach, but this beach has a name as well. I forget what it is. But there are now people leaving as people arriving. The horses I will be either bringing people right here to get on the next boat back to Bali or Lombok. Yeah, on the left. Yes. <sighs> Which I'll probably do in a day or two or even tomorrow. Either tomorrow or the next day. Or, or, or oh man, wicked old lady. Oh man. <laughs> her, bam, bam, her bum looked like a bag of flies. <laughs> it did. Can't help myself. Cannot. It's good thing you got restaurants here every morning. It's a wicked little spot. Oh man. Ooh, I'm exhausted now. I do need it. It's time for breakfast. So, where am I going to eat? There is a little restaurant down there where I ate yesterday. Yes, the, the day before yesterday, which was good, but it was closed yesterday, so that's why I ended up eating somewhere a bit rubbish. Oh, man. Well, you will get. See, I prefer the quieter part of town where everybody's not trying to get you in, whatever, to sit you down. I'm at a certain age where I make my own mind up. I need someone to tell me to come in and sit down whatever I'll have a little look before I make that decision right let's get past these two ladies <sighs> we take someone's eye out <sighs> hello here's where I ate last night and it was poor red doors here I won't recommend it no we walked past really swiftly Yes, electric bikes. <laughs> <laughs> they can't help themselves, man. They will try and rent you, sell you, just about anything. But I don't understand why they don't get it, that people like to be left in peace, don't need to, you know. It, it puts me off, as soon as someone's yes, trying to snorkel and trip, he's not getting any business, is he? <laughs> Anyone try to get me in a restaurant, I'll just jog on. It's like, it won't get my business. Other people are different, but you know, I'm not other people. I am me. That's good being me. So you don't get no rubbish. <laughs> right. One is running on a bit. I want to find the next beach. Or the name of it. Unless I'm on it right now. We're on. Okay. Just filled my bottle up. <laughs> And I will show you, look, right where we started the vlog. Here is our team. Right here, where they go about fixing <laughs> up the horses. You know, tap, tap me, man. I could do with some horseshoe. God, I, man, I could, uh, my feet are that solid, I'd probably take them. Cheers, buddy. He wants to try me on. I am a bit of a horse, man. <laughs> horse. <laughs> Actually, I think I'm giving the wrong impression there. But here's where all these guys are and where the horse guys come to get their new shoes. Aha! Wicked! Well guys, as you can see today, it's got a little bit busier. Oh man, and I'm putting all me sweat back. <laughs> no, I'm on the bike, man. No, I'm on the bike. <laughs> They can't help themselves, man. They will try and... Oh, don't run a bike. But there is a decent little restaurant up here somewhere where I got some food the other day so I can have happy ending with some breakfast. So this is the centre part of town. 
Good day. Uh, no thanks, buddy. Uh, how are you, boss? Oh, I'm good. Good day today. No, I'm good. Every day is a good day when you're vlogging, man. It is. It's always a good day. Whew. You can rent your paddle boards here, look. Good day. <laughs> you can rent them little kayaks and kayak to the island over there, which is Gilly. Gilly something or other, I can't remember. Yeah. Hi. What's the name of that island, mate? Mino Mino. Oh, Gilly Mino. Mino. How much do you charge for a kayak? 100, 100 for an hour. For an hour? Yeah. Okay, how much for three hours? An hour to 50. 250 for three hours? Yeah. Okay. Good price. Yeah. Thank you. Oh, man. That's not too bad. 250. That's how much my accommodation. 225 for the day. Three hours on a kayak. It's a little bit further than it looks. And I'd say that's a that's a kilometre to get there. I guess. Mm. Perhaps worth a visit. But when I catch up with my two Indian friends, we may share a boat together because they were looking to hire a fisherman to take them across there. So I like that way of thinking. The Indian guys are cool. They, they, they have inbuilt ways of saving money. Yeah, they, they, they do, it's inbuilt. All right, let's find out the end. Got a new hat. <laughs> I like my new hat, I do. I do, don't worry guys about the flowers. Ladies like the flowers. So I found a restaurant that I thought was pretty good. It's called Pale Sampan. And the menu's on there, right there. So you can actually read that before you get run down by the endless stream of cyclists. You can see the day's now getting up. Look, people are out and about on the bikes. Horses and carts are moving along. Oh man. And I'm, oh actually, I can show you where I'm now going to sit. So you can order there, you can sit in there in the shade. I'm now going to sit there in the sun and have you know what, I'm actually going to film what I've ordered. I have ordered, menu's there as well. I have ordered chunky fries at 45 for a pair, which are homemade chips. Also breakfast eggs, fried eggs, grilled tomatoes, whole homemade hash browns, freshly baked baguette. Hey, oh no, add. Crispy bacon. Oh, I missed that. I thought that said and. <laughs> not add. <sighs> so no bacon. Anyway, that's not a bad thing. Right, so I'm going to sit here and chill out. My happy ending. Geezer, they can't help it. Even next door try to tout you for something. Or they want their photograph taken. Um, so if you want to see the photographs I've taken, you know, go on the Facebook page. Right, so sit here. Oh man, it is hot. I'm waiting for my breakfast. We're on. Awesome. So you can hear the jing jangle as the horses go by. Oh, breakfast has arrived. Crispy looking chunky chips. I reckon they're a bit double fried. They have salt on them as well. Good carb. You need it. You need your spuds. good stuff and and it does come a little bit of mayonnaise moving on to me fried eggs you see them two fried eggs they look pretty good a little bit of um, side salad <laughs> crispy baguette two little ash browns and what looks like some nice cherry tomatoes. Oh, man. So breakfast has arrived and I need to eat. I need to eat plenty of grub. The mix is pretty good looking. Mm. Decent fried egg. Hash brown. Plenty more spud. 
<laughs> it's a pikey thing, isn't it? Spud? Where, where are you going? Always got to be the potatoes. That's me other sun hat, which is for the camera. That's why I've got two hats. One for me, one for the camera. So we're going in with a cherry tomorrow. Now I'm a big fan of cherry tomorrow. And if you want to make the most of your cherry tomato, if you cut them up in half and grill them, put a little bit of pesto on them. You will have orgasmic. Tomato go, go oh, alright. And my crispy chips. There is a fresh baguette. It's nice, crispy on the outside, soft and fluffy on the inside. Mmm. Waiting for one other thing. <laughs> I am. So we'll keep the tape running until it arrives. I think it's taken its time. because I asked for a specific vessel for it to be served in. I don't think they had one. But if you come and eat here, of course, you get to use the sunbeds in the lounge. Free charge. On the beach, that sun is really dry, uh, hot. Oh, man, I need big glasses. Not that I want to be wearing them, but obviously having a bit of man flu, the eyes are a bit sensitive to the light. And it's very bright today. It really is. Mm. So while I'm still stalling, I am clean the rugs. I'm on three types of rugs. Ah, oh, these. I'll hold them up to the camera. Is the lens and my little electrolyte packet, which turns that from being what it is to that colour quite strong. So I've only put one of them in there. That's one lot of my pills that I'm on. I'll get my pills out. That's another lot of the pills that I'm on. Get them out, and that's the other lot of the pills that I'm on. So I'm hopefully I can get them into me. I've got to take them after food, so I can only assume they'd mess your stomach lining up if you ate them on an empty stomach. Come on! <laughs> ah. Well done. You've done that really quickly. Yeah, you made that part. Okay. Aha. Uh -huh. I wanted a pole glass. <laughs> Which is dumb. Uh, you got to get your pouring technique, guys. Uh, as you can all enjoy with me in this very well-deserved happy ending. Now, I have taken my tablets with my food. Doctor did say, don't drink anything cold. Did. He also did say, don't drink anything alcoholic. That may have an adverse effect with the tablets. What the doctor doesn't understand is, this is part of my everyday staple diet. It is. As is, 
the amount of full moon that gets captured in the background uh, just about everywhere I go. <laughs> uh, wonder if it's like that back in the UK in the summer. I'm gonna I'm gonna enjoy myself on a few beach walks back in the UK before I head off to Europe to see what the difference is. I don't know if it's an Asian thing or whether I'm, I'm looking forward to Hemsby and Yarmouth to see how many full moons I can count along that beach front. Still enjoying my breakfast, by the way. Uh huh. So, guys, I appreciate you staying till the very end. Mm. Oh. 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 First of the day. Oh, and that is ice cold. Oh, that's really good. That's really good. So the chips. Unfortunately, I can't do anything at the background. <laughs> Can I? <laughs> no. We're <coughs> now going to a coffin session. Right. Mm. It's a very good start to the day. I hope you guys enjoy your day, and until next time, au revoir.